What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Ride TV. So today we're going to do an exhaust install. Stealth Pipes was kind enough to set us up with a new exhaust system here for old Dolores. So we're going to open this box up, see what's inside, and we're going to pull this old one off and put the new one on. So let's just get to it. <laughs> Open up the box. Still kept everything wrapped up. So what it's gonna look like, everything's all in plastic. You have some uh, bolts and washers here. Looks like your header pipe right here. Your cone and bracket right here. I'm gonna set this tripod up and then I'll open this stuff up. This is our cone and our bracket. The clamp right here. All right, so this is your head pipe. Um, first off, you can see that it's stepped, so that's gonna help me a lot have that 100 inch motor in there. And then second off, you don't have the clips that go on the uh, end here, they have the flanges welded right on, so all you have to do is just bolt that right up. You don't need those little clips. I bought some new gaskets just in case. It's always good to change gaskets. Uh, new studs and nuts too, just in case. Uh, those, ones, uh, those ones are actually pretty new, but uh, if they're looking pretty old and stuff like that, you might wanna change them. You might want to just keep them handy just in case you uh, break a stud or something like that. Hopefully you don't over tighten it and do that. Also you can see that it has the, the bung right here for your uh, sensors, which I don't have because I have a carbureted motor. So I'm going to tighten those, lock tight those and tighten those up. And then uh, that's pretty much it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy. You just two bolts on each head and then you bolt it up. You can see there's this stock mounting point right here. You mount your bracket, then you put on your cone and you clamp it all together. It's pretty easy, so let's just get to it. All right, I just flipped the bike around real quick so the, the sun is hitting it. It's a little bit better for uh, the filming. I live in an apartment. I just wanted to do this out in the uh, parking lot here just to show you that you can really just do this anywhere. Anybody can do this. You can do it with just some basic hand tools. You can do it in your driveway. You don't need to take it to a shop. It's really simple, so. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is loosen up all your bolts. Those are your head bolts. Loosen up your head bolt here, and there's one underneath, two on each. And then you have to loosen up and take your bracket off the old exhaust off. Bottom was a little tricky, so I use a little fucking swivel on here. Makes it easier. So as you can see, the fucking exhaust has a giant hole in it. It's been a really good exhaust to me for the past year and a half, but it's just wear and tear is really taking a toll on it and it's just time for an upgrade. So that's why I'm getting a new one. So you just pull that fucking gasket out of there, install the new one. Make sure the fat part of the flange is on the inside, the thin parts towards the outside. So these little bungs here, since I'm not using them, uh, they get these little stoppers right there. Just put a little red Loctite on it. And just tighten them up. All right, so the new gaskets are in. Head studs are good. Um, and you don't need to replace the C-clips on here since it's built in. So all you have to do is put it up and just bolt it up. All right, get it all mocked up in there. I'm gonna get the uh, the nuts on the studs. I'm gonna put a little red Loctite on those. You gotta also remember, after about 50, 100 miles, you're gonna come back and try to retighten everything, make sure everything's snugged up, just because this shit gets loose really easy, because you rattle around so much. So I started putting this on. I get all the bolts caught, just a few threads, still loose until I have everything put on, and then I'll tighten everything up. I did skip a step. I forgot to take the old bracket off, which I'm doing right now. You want to get the old bracket off and the new bracket on before you do this. Makes more sense. All right, this bracket getting the uh, bolt cut to the nut took a little finesse, but I got it. So now we're all mocked up. Everything's in there good. So now all I have to do is go go ahead and just tighten everything down and make sure make sure it works. I think we can start her up and see how she sounds.
All right, guys, so we're all finished. Started it up, sounds awesome. Uh, as you can see, it was really easy to install. It took me about an hour, probably. Um, I did it in the parking lot of my apartment building, so pretty much anybody can do this anywhere. I like to thank Stealth Pipes so much for uh, setting me up with this new system here. I really needed it. My old pipe was trashed. I really put it through the ringer, so I'm really grateful to have the opportunity to uh, be able to ride this. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Do, a, do me a favor, if you like this video, just hit that like button, subscribe, share it. If there's any other videos, installs, how-tos, or anything like that you'd like to see just leave me a comment below and uh, we'll get to it for you all right thank you guys see you next time all right so it's been about a week now i've been riding the pipe it's awesome i love it uh, i want to thank stealth pipe so much um if you notice in the video that the logo on the stealth pipes was on the top and they sent me a new one with the logo right where it's supposed to be right here they had it out to me in a day when they noticed that it was in the wrong spot it was just a mistake so quick with the uh quick with the fix on that one i like to thank stealth pipe so much again um so i'll keep talking about the pipe uh, as things come up and things i notice about it and i like about it so any questions or comments just leave it below thank you guys